So, I really think that I may have already had COVID-19. I think our whole family actually already had it. Back in February, early morning on February 14th, our toddler woke up throwing up in bed because he had been coughing so much. One thing led to another. His coughing and fever and whatever else he had. I ended up catching it, then our baby caught it, then finally, Robbie, my husband, caught it. Ever since then, because uh, at that point, COVID-19 was still like in its earlier development. It hadn't even been detected in Florida yet. It didn't get its first case detected in Florida till March 1st. So this was two weeks before that. Ever since then though, I've been suspicious that I've already had it because we had seemingly all the symptoms, which we'll get into more of that a little bit later. So since I've been so suspicious, but like at that time, the testing was not at all readily available. And um, now it is, but we've been well for like a couple months. So the antibody testing has come out and I've been really wanting to get an antibody test so that I could finally just like know whether or not we had it. So we could be like, okay, we already went through this. We can, you know, at least know that we beat it once or whatever. So I've been trying to talk Robbie into letting me get the antibody test. And he's like, I don't know if we should spend money on that right now. Anyway, at the farmer's market today, talking to some of our friends and mentors about this, kind of telling them some of the story and they're like, you've got to go get tested. Long story short, we come home and they had put this envelope on our front door with money. It says, Kathy and Robbie, get the test. So I don't have to wait for Robbie to agree with me anymore because they funded the test. Thank you, Terry and Becky. You guys are amazing. Anyway, we're gonna take this money. We're gonna get myself tested next week for the um, COVID-19 antibodies. I feel 95% sure that I already had it. We'll see. Am I right? Am I wrong? What do you think? How percentage sure are you? I think that we should use that money for an all-you-can-eat sushi bar. I don't think I want to do that right now. Alright, so I'm loading up. About to go get my blood test. Here we go. Seems like a lot of paperwork. So, just waiting. There's only one other person in here, so it's super quiet. Hopefully they get home pretty quick. That was really fast. <laughs> Amazing. Hmm. You guys been doing a lot of... A lot of this? Yeah. Every day. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I've been wanting to get it done for a while, but I just saw last week this was... Ooh, here we go. <sighs> that this was an option to do it without having to get a doctor's note first, so... It's awesome. You're gonna get the results quick. Really? How quick yeah, do you think? They, they take, it depends. Sometimes they take up to three days. Depending if it's negative, it's a, it, not, it doesn't take that long. If it's positive, it takes it longer? It takes a little longer, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm hoping it's positive so it's done. I'm gonna be done with this thing. But you know, like, if you get it there, if you, you're gonna get the results through the, the photo. When okay. you, you get the results there. Okay. All so right. it'll email me as soon as it's yes. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm oh, here. Okay. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. All right. You too. Thank you very much. That was it. Well, that was seriously the fastest appointment of my whole entire life. I literally walked in there at like 2.05, checked in, sat down for all of maybe two minutes, walked back, they got my blood. I'm out at 2.10, so literally a five minute appointment, which is amazing that they offer this without having to go to the doctor to get the, like a script for the blood draw without having to do anything. It was like the easiest access thing ever. So, and she said that my blood results hopefully will come back really fast. So I'm hoping like by the end of the week, I'll know whether or not we already had it. So there you go. Fastest, best quest experience I've ever had to date. Amazing. Let me in. Uh-oh, Lennon just woke up. He woke up probably 10 minutes after you left. Are you kidding? Maybe 20 minutes. Hi, mommy! Hi, baby! I'm back from the doctor. And they took my blood. They took the bleed. They did. They took my, my blood. Can you get the bandage? See, yeah, I've got a bandage right here. Oh. Yeah, it hurt really, really, really bad. 
Baju kita. Coba. Para para. Coba. Yeah. Do you remember when we were all sick and you coughed a lot? Mm -hmm. And you had to do your treatment? I got to do my treat. That's when we were all sick. I'm better. Yeah, but you're better. Yeah, you're all better now. I'm so glad that you're better. I'm not sick anymore. We're all all better. You look sleepy, sleepy head. <gasps> oh. Okay, so I have Robbie on the phone. I had to call him. I've been incessantly checking. So it's been, what? Right now, like 24 hours since my test was taken. And the results are in. Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm so nervous. Oh. Okay, Robbie, do you think I had it? Let's take bets. Do you think I had it? No. Now that I'm about to see it, I feel less certain that I had it. Although I felt really certain before. Okay. No more time to fritter. Let's check and see. Why do I feel so nervous? All right, I'm clicking view report. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> this is, oh, my results are not in. It's not it? This is a urine culture. <laughs> From November. You got my hopes up. I'm like sweating over a urine culture. <laughs> I forgot. This, I was like, man, those test results came back so fast. But look, it says Catherine's test results are available. Oh, now I see. It says November 26th. That is hilarious. Okay, well, I guess the wait continues. It does say the turnaround is typically four to five days from collection. So I guess I've got a few more days to wait. That's hilarious. Well, we keep waiting. Keep waiting. So Thursday night, February the 13th, August wakes up in the middle of the night and he actually vomited twice in bed. After we figured out what was happening, he had been coughing and couldn't catch his breath and I guess was coughing to the point that he actually threw up. So we took him to the uh, doctor. They looked him over and they said, well, he, he has croup cough. And it's just describing the cough that he had because it sounded like a, a bad cough. By Sunday the 16th, I came down with a fever myself and started to have symptoms like super high fever that would not break. And my fever was so bad and so high that from Sunday until um, Wednesday the 19th, I went to the doctor because I'm like, all right, I've had this already for four days and I'm not getting any better. So I went in and just based on my symptoms, they said, oh, you have the flu, you have a high fever, you have body aches, you have this and that. My fever spiked to 105. I was having convulsions like like this like I couldn't stop shaking because I was so I had such terrible chills and I was laying on the couch trying to get some rest and I literally asked Robbie to watch me sleep because I was legitimately scared I was going to die even with ibuprofen that I was taking every four hours my fever never went below 101 for like six days straight so then a week after this our baby he came down with a high fever that was like 103 but then he had two febrile seizures from the high fever so we took him into the doctor and and while we're driving our family there to go to the doctor, August, who had been getting better, he then starts to have a fever too. He's whining and crying again. And then of course we get there. Now his fever is back up to 102. They check him out as well as Lennon. August is now diagnosed with pneumonia. So whatever he had earlier had progressed now to pneumonia. And then our baby had come down with the same thing. So August starts having to have breathing treatments. We put him on a nebulizer like every four hours to help clear the pneumonia. The baby we're just basically watching, um, but he has a high fever. He's just kind of lethargic and laying around. And then like two days later, then they start to show symptoms of hand, foot, and mouth disease, which was completely unrelated to all this apparently. It was just like literally the plagues. About three days after the hand, foot, and mouth started to subside, August presented with a whole nother disease. He had a full body rash, like all over his arms, all over his legs, all over his trunk. His cheeks were bright red. He had pink eye, he had a fever. And so we're like, what in the world is going on? We sent him pictures. So by a photo diagnosis, he was diagnosed with slap cheek. But now this week, um, all the news has been talking about this other multi-system inflammatory disease that children have been getting that is related to having COVID-19. Number of children diagnosed with a rare disease believed to be related to COVID-19 is increasing nationwide. Growing concerns over a mysterious illness that's seen in children that may be linked to the coronavirus. Full body rash, fever, pink eye, 
it seems pretty convincing to me that they had COVID-19, had a really high immune response, got pneumonia, then he got this um, multi-system inflammatory syndrome. But then, meanwhile, Robbie, my husband, their daddy, had made it through all of this time without getting sick. He comes down with it finally. By the time Robbie was finished with him being sick, it was like four straight weeks of us all having this run through our family. We all had a cough that lasted at least three weeks. These are my reasons. These are the things that have led me to say, okay, if I can get an antibody test and actually confirm whether or not we had COVID-19 already, it will at least mean we've already made it through the disease one time. So now we just have to see did we actually have COVID-19 go through our family? I don't know. I gotta go get my computer, log in, and get the results. We're gonna open this up and find out. You guys stay tuned. All right, so lab results for SARS-CoV-2 serology. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's negative. <laughs> That's crazy. So all of that, thought that we put into it all this time and I didn't have it. I'm really honestly surprised. Your test was negative. This indicates that you did not have the IgG antibodies as an immune response to COVID-19 at the time your blood was collected. Weird. It's negative. Surprised? Yes. What in the heck did we have? This is what probably a lot of people are going to be going through. Am I skeptical that maybe this is wrong? It's possible, but it's probably not wrong. It was a blood test. There you have it, kids. It's a negative Nancy. You know, something else I just thought of. If, if we don't know how long someone could be immune after they've already had it, maybe we could have had it, but the immunity to it is short-lived. I'm still back to not convinced that I didn't have it. <laughs> maybe the immunity doesn't last as long. I mean, it's three months after the fact. It's been a long time since we had it. It's negative nonetheless. If you guys are unsure if you were exposed to it, honestly, the whole process of going to get tested through Quest was super easy. I, I would recommend going to get tested just in case um, you have already been exposed and you can stop thinking about it, stop worrying about it. So if you're just not sure, if you're questioning, go out there and get it. I mean, it's 120 bucks, but I feel like to be able to get it off your mind, it's well worth it. You guys, please stay safe. Be healthy, wash your hands, stay away from sick people. We'll see you next time. Results are in, buddy. What do you think? Negative. It was negative. Negative? Yeah. Aww. Hey, so what the heck did we have? I don't know. The world may never know.